We're finally in chapter 13. We're going to talk about matrices and determinants in this entire chapter. This is dimensions of a matrix, its columns and rows, and this is 13.1a. We have no previous videos for chapter 13. So, when we solve systems of equations, we do computations with the coefficients and constants. And after the equations are in standard form of a linear equation, like this ax plus by equals c, the variables have no important role until we state the solution. We can simplify the process by getting rid of the variables. Do you remember when we did synthetic division? We just pulled out all the variables? Well, it's like that. So we have the system 3x plus 4y equals 5 and x minus 2y equals 1. If we pull out all the variables, it'll simplify to a 3, 4, 5 and a 1, negative 2, 1. So remember, in front of that x down here, there's an invisible 1, isn't there? Right here. So that's where that 1's there. And this is a rectangular array of numbers called a matrix. This little group right here, okay? So here it is again. We usually put brackets around matrices. That's plural for matrix, matrices. For m and n, positive integers, an m by n matrix is an array in this form. So if we've got our number and then little subscript numbers down here and down here, that's the row, that's the column. So if A is the element of the matrix, the number that's in the matrix, then this would be the first row, first column, first row, second column, first row, third column. See that? So we've got one, two, three rows and one, two, three columns. This is actually a square matrix because it has just as many rows as columns. See that? So it's not 11, 12, 13. It's read as A sub 1, 1, A sub 1, 2, A sub 1, 3, A sub 2, 1, A sub 2, 2, because it's saying row 2, column 1, row 2, column 2. So that's why it's not a 22. It's a 2, 2. See that? An M by N matrix has M horizontal rows and N vertical columns. These are the rows. These are the columns. That's how we do its dimensions, by its rows times columns. So there's four rows here and three columns. So that would be a four by three. Now look at this. A to the sub one, two. So that's the first row, second column. Well, that would be this one, wouldn't it? that would be a negative 2. See, we can locate it. And the matrix above here, it has four rows and three columns, so its dimensions are 4 by 3. 4 by 3. See that? And we can find the dimensions of a matrix by counting its rows and its columns. This has two rows, three columns, so it's a 2 by 3 matrix, and the row is always listed first. This has three rows and three columns, so it's a three by three. It's a square matrix. This one has two rows, but only one column, so it's a two by one. And because it has only one column, it's called a column matrix. See? It's the number of rows times that one column. This one has one row but two columns, so it's a one by two matrix. And because it only has one row, it's called a row matrix. See that? One column is a column matrix, one row is a row matrix. So that square matrix has the same amount of rows and columns, like this one, see? Now, coming up, you're gonna see a vertical bar that separates the matrix, and a matrix that has a vertical bar separating the column is called an augmented matrix. We're going to talk about that in video 13.6a coming up soon, okay? So our next video, 13.1b, we're going to talk about systems of equations using matrices. I'm going to add this to the Algebra 2 playlist. There'll be a link to that Algebra 2 playlist. And keep in mind that Chapter 13 is our last chapter for Algebra 2, all right? So I hope you understand about matrices now. And there's no confusion about how to find the values in them or the elements, where they're located. And keep up the good work. I'm proud of you. Have a good day, and I'll see you next video. Bye.